Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new episode of Phantom Abyss. It's not really a new episode because this right here is also not going to be a review of this game because I would be much too much subjective um, because I really like this game but it has some really big downsides which are just super duper worse. But all right, um, so that's more or less a little feedback. Um, I don't think any of my feedback will be addressed, to be honest with you. Um, probably there also will never be an update to this game, so yeah, just just want to make that clear. I, I really hope the game gets kept alive and gets new update, but <laughs> I'm skeptical. Alright, what do I think about this 1.0? So in the last 2.7 years I played this game over 200 hours and I also played the 1.0 beta. Um, at some point the 1.0 beta had less bugs, at least for me, but currently there aren't too many critical bugs in this game. For example, um, I didn't have one crash at all. I have now played the game for about for around about 40 hours since the 1.0 release, so I played it quite a lot every day. I finished everything you can do in this game, I completed the story, I made everything right here golden, I have every relic, and yeah, that's more or less everything you can have, and of course every skin, but if you have it golden, you have the skin anyway. So, um, let's start with the feedback on the adventure temples. I think the adventure temples are more or less all right. Um, one temple, I don't know which temple in the caverns is pretty nasty. Um, of course that's a super annoying course but I don't know which temple is super nasty. Blood bond. Yeah, this temple right here is very, very difficult because if you're holding a crystal, which you need to see anything in the um in the dark rooms and you get a hit while holding a crystal you instantly die and in my opinion that is too difficult in my opinion for the caverns you know being the seventh temple in the game in my opinion that is way too uh, dangerous and way too deadly for new players um i don't like that um yeah in general the difficulty increases pretty much between the currents and the inferno you know if you enter the inferno there's quite a lot of gap um it's quite huge in my opinion um yeah i mean for me still even the rift is super duper easy but you know in terms of new players starting out with this game this might be very difficult so don't be too frustrated if you're entering the inferno um, for my taste i think it's quite more difficult than the currents um, the rift is also quite difficult of course it should be the most difficult one so probably before you enter the rift you already want to have quite a few um, um, perks leveled right here um, what I would recommend is probably dash cooldown and dash distance as fast as possible and it, so I started with dash cooldown I think that's a good tip if you already can uh, level it pretty far starting coins I did at last and yeah after the dash stuff I did the whip and the HP and then dot chance and power tears yeah a key exchange i never exchange any keys because it doesn't really make sense to be honest temporary power also buggy i bought double jump didn't hit bubble jump so that bug is still there i don't know if it only applies to double jump or to everything but i also wouldn't recommend buying this for 11 blue keys i mean if you have everything upgraded and you don't know where to spend keys sure get it if not i really do not recommend you buy any temporary power unless you have maxed out everything um yeah it quite it takes quite a lot of few time to um get or change to max so it has 30 levels and it's quite expensive 
in the end, especially for the rift keys. But dodge chance is pretty powerful because every third hit won't count. So that's pretty nice and definitely gonna save your ass one or the other time. So don't underestimate the dodge chance. Alright, um, that's about the adventure temples. Um, they definitely addressed the adventure temple or the moon whip, which I complained about in the beta because in the beta you had, I think, like three death tubes in this uh, temple, which was pure hell, super annoying, way too difficult. Now you get one death tube. You know, death tube is the tube where you fall down, which is super deadly, in my opinion, um, the hardest by far the hardest um, trap in the game more or less you have to get luck if you don't have flying or double jump but anyway let's talk about daily mode real quick um, daily mode is in my opinion too difficult you know having a clearance of 21 percent mm, i don't know but in my opinion from playing um, three to four I, I don't know if it was three or four daily temples I played, but they are, in my opinion, too difficult for the average player. You know, in my opinion, daily mode is something where all player, uh, all players come together and just having a good time. Uh, few player are gonna speed one, some players gonna go for the score, some players just wanna see the other phantoms, whatsoever. You know, the advantage is, of course, you can replay it as often as you want in 24 hours and yeah all right let's go to abyss mode mm, let's talk about these these are quite important so after you more or less finish the adventure tem uh, temples doesn't matter if you just got the whip unlock or the golden shine but if you played all of the adventure temples and have finished them then and even maybe before then you're gonna play abyss mode and abyss mode is the mode you're gonna play the most at least that's what i expect or oh, the game devs expect maybe you're also gonna play daily mode a lot some people like that i do not because i really play this game um, because of its sure challenge and madness so i'm only gonna play unchanged of course all right master difficulty um master difficulty is a little bit it really depends on each one but it's a little bit more tough than some of the rift relics right here uh, rift rips not relics um, but more or less it's you know it's difficult for me to describe how difficult this is for a new player because i really don't know how the game feels like if you're new to it <laughs> it's been just a long time since i played it so i really don't know but the difficulty of master is totally all right um compared of abyss mode it's super easy you know compared to unchanged it's ridiculously easy um after master comes insane and insane already increases by two floors and another two floors and 13 floors you got in total in the hardest difficulty so insane is sounds insane but is in my opinion only a little bit more difficult than master so if you have somewhat of confidence clearing mostly all the master temples you won't have a too bad time in insane difficulty but yeah keep in mind it's two floors more so you also get two challenges or curses uh, more keep that in mind let's talk about nightmare if you go into nightmare from insane it's like a punch in the face the difference between insane and nightmare is insane <laughs> it it really is a huge difference you can even see it in the score but you know i would say nightmare is like five times as hard as master so it would be like score 5000 in my opinion it really is a lot harder than insane you know especially with four floors more than the first difficulty you get a lot of curses a real lot of curses and in the end they're gonna all add up and if you you know have for example fragile death you get 2.5 times the damage which you normally get in the rift you get two hp damage by each trap 
2 times 2.5 is 5 damage. Now imagine you also have a curse where you have less HP, only like 6 HP or 5 HP, then almost every trap insta kills you in the end, if you have this um, special curse alignment. It's not always the case, but just keep in mind, some combinations are really, really deadly. So the difference between these two is really, really, really big. All right, don't be frustrated if you're gonna go into nightmare. The difference is quite huge. Now let's talk about Unchanged. In my opinion, Unchanged is the mode, at least which I'm gonna play for the rest of my Phantom Abyss life, more or less, and maybe from time to time daily mode. But more or less, Unchanged is what the game is about. You're having all the floors, so three floors in every world, times four worlds is of course 12 floors, plus the last floor where you have to light up the two torches and then grab the relic. So that's the final mode and the most um, fun in my opinion. But keep in mind Unchanged is brutal as hell. It's even more punishing than Nightmare. And Unchanged you always get at the first girl, uh, curse Tech Team. And Tech Team gives you two more Guardians. So you have always in Unchanged three Guardians hunting you down to death. And just want to make that sure you really need a lot of experience in this game and know every room exactly before you're gonna enter Unchanged, else you won't be too frustrated. So for a new player who plays Master four times, Insane four times and Nightmare four times and don't die once, respect, that's pretty tough probably die a lot in nightmare i would assume but i can't imagine for a new player with 20 hours experience completing unchanged that's it's very insane um if you want to know how insane unchanged is watch my episode which is episode 13 i think yeah that was the longest and the hardest run in the temple i ever had in phantom abyss it was pretty cool to be honest it was quite a lot of fun because i liked that but it was insanely difficult. And today I also played four unchanged temples and all of them were much easier than episode 13. I don't know why, maybe they changed something on the server side. Um, today also was the first time I saw phantoms in abyss mode. I never had any phantom um, ever before in abyss mode. I don't know, maybe they changed up some server stuff and then patch the client so for the client there's still no update until today but yeah keep in mind unchanged and nightmare are very very brutal and the difference between unchanged and nightmare isn't too big but since you always have three guardians and unchanged always in the first uh, in the second floor because it's the first curse you always get it's really tough it really it really is just just want to make that sure one thing I don't like about Abyss Mode is the curse of Crosswind. And another thing I really hate is I don't get the new Rift Rooms in Abyss Mode. So right now in total I played like around about 20 temples in Abyss Mode. More or less, maybe 18, 20, I don't know. And I didn't saw the new Rift Rooms even once. Now new player won't know what I'm talking about, which new roof rooms, but I mean the super duper awesome, big, insane rooms, which you can see and spectate in the Rift Challenges. Because the Rift Adventure Challenges, you can see these rooms, but I never saw these rooms in the Rift in Abyss mode. I don't know why. I don't think it's just a very, very rare that you get them. It doesn't really make sense. I, in the first row, I really thought, all right, maybe they count the uh, rooms as very difficult and they only appear in Unchanged. But after um, playing five Unchanged temples, I still didn't cut them even once. So that's very sad because these rooms are pretty cool. I really like them. They are very unique. And, you know, I never saw them in Abyss mod. Maybe that's a bug. I can't imagine that's, an uh, that's intentional, doesn't make any sense in my opinion, abyss mode 
um, at least the last and the hardest difficulty should feature every possible room in my opinion all right so um adventure temples uh are all right keep in mind between caverns and inferno is quite a lot of difference in difficulty and the caverns of course have one annoying temple being to it yourself whip that's a very deadly temple in my opinion their temple should belong more or less to the later inferno temples but all right um never expect them to change that <laughs> but whatever um about abyss mode the abyss mode is more or less really really fun it's extremely brutal and hellish and difficult which i really really like i yeah i hope that the game gets future updates of course maybe even future content to be honest i i kind of doubt that they're gonna continue developing this game because they won't make enough money maybe i don't know it it's difficult because the player count on steam is already decreasing by a lot and we don't even have one week after the launch so yeah i don't know we'll see but, but i i have to say um the devs more or less did a great job with this game it's very unique and i really love it i really do devolver so the publisher definitely fucked up promoting this game i really didn't saw any promotion for this game nothing really really bad so they probably already throw this game in the garbage i don't know but that is very sad but we can't do anything against it as players but uh, yeah uh, in terms of story um i wouldn't play the game of course for the story it's just a story so all right but more or less yeah it's 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 all right it's nothing would what you wouldn't expect so it's there and all right so yeah all in all um i don't know how i would rate this game i mean more or less i think yeah the game is pretty awesome and deserves definitely a nine out of a ten but since i didn't saw the new rift rooms once in abyss mode which is awful i would give the game like a three out of ten yeah definitely you know guys if you ever saw the awesome rift rooms just stupid just completely stupid um and the other really thing which decreases the score in my opinion even further down to one point so i would rate this game one out one out of a ten yeah one out of a ten is good um simply because crosswind that curse is completely bullshit. If you get crosswind, icy feet. No, you just fly away. You know, just slide on the ground and just whoop and, and you're gone. Crosswind is the hell. It is so annoying. It completely destroys your movement. I'm completely fine if crosswind would appear, you know, from time to time in one or two floors. Totally all right. It's something crazy all right pushes you around uh, um, crosswind from the bottom you know functioning as low gravity is quite fun all right but getting crosswind like 60 to 70 percent in my temples from one um in the first temples uh, not in the first temples one in the first floors i always get crosswind um it's so fucking annoying it is just it doesn't make any fun at all it completely kills your movement and the game has a great movement a great whipping mechanic very direct awesome movement in this game but crosswind completely ruins your movement and to play this game i have to move and if i get crosswind like 70 percent out of my temple once it's just completely annoying and in unchanged you always get the strong crosswind at max level and it is quite strong that gives the game in my opinion a score one out of a ten i know some people who like crosswind i don't know why but they do and that's totally all right but that's just my opinion 
I don't know about this game, but if they don't address the awesome rift rooms that they finally appear in the abyss mode, I'm definitely not going to return to this game. And about Crosswind, I still have to gather up some thoughts because more or less it, it doesn't make any fun for me. So that is very sad. You know, I, I didn't have a problem if Crosswind was like 5% chance. Just fuck it. I would alter four out of the sample and load a new one and I'm I'm fine. Even if it was 10%. But like more or less every second temple and even of, um, more often than that. No, thank you very much. So I would like to play this game for another thousand hours. Sure, let's go. But currently it definitely doesn't feel like that. Not at all. Yeah, so I'm curious if the game ever gets an update. And yeah, I, I really, really can't imagine that the devs gonna address Crosswind at all. I also don't know how many people also hate Crosswind as much as I do. But I, I don't see the point in Crosswind, you know, because it just destroys your movement. And that's alright if it's for a short amount of time or so, you know, just something special. That's totally fine, but not for 70% of my gameplay. That is bullshit. All right, without raging even more about Crosswind. Um, yeah, for now, I think I'm more or less done with this game. Currently, I recorded, I think, like 17 episodes. So if you see this video right here at release, you still have quite a few episodes to watch in the next weeks. But... I don't know how many more episodes might come after this. This is... No, guys. It doesn't make any fun for me, you know. And I play this game, of course, because it's fun. And I like the challenge. But I don't like Crosswind. So, and I want to fucking see the new Rift Groups. They are awesome. And I didn't get them once. That might be very unlucky, but, you know, after 20 temples, the new rooms have a chance of less than 5% to appear. That is much, way, 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 way too much low. Too much low. <laughs> that is way too low. That is way too low. But all right. Um, I'm curious to see how the game continues. Um, if it gets any updates or so. Or whatever happens. If they change something up. I don't know. I'm curious. I'm curious. I don't have too high doubts that the game keeps going. But... All right. Without further ado, guys, um, thanks for watching. I hope my feedback helped you a little bit, especially for the adventure temperatures and the difficulty in abyss mode. At least that's only just, you know, my, my feeling about abyss mode and the differences in terms of difficulty. Um, I played four times master in insane. I died once in nightmare. I died twice. So five insane, six in nightmare temples and five unchanged so far. But all right, guys. Um, thanks for watching and hopefully I'm going to see you in another episode. Goodbye.